I don't have a crystal ball to know when we're ever getting out of this, but I'm not, I'm not guessing it's going to be anytime so soon. It's sort of dependent on, you know, a successful vaccine. So I've kind of in my mind have decided that it's going to be like this for a while. And we're, <laughs> you know, we need to get used to managing it. And, and the economy and health out outcomes are absolutely tied. So yeah. the better we do in the health, the, the more things that can be open, the more things that can stay open. The worst thing I think that would happen for us is us having to, you know, having outbreaks and having to go back into a modified stage two or make res further restrictions. We want to do everything to not have that happen. Well, speaking of that, I mean, York Region today, uh, during the time of this recording, has been moved back to modified stage two now in another area. Um, seeing this outbreak, you know, are we heading in the wrong direction here, Norm, right now? Well, in certain areas we are. And I, I saw the daily broadcast yesterday with the Premier and Health Minister and a few others on and noted the numbers yesterday. I mean, you can go on the website, at, which I generally do every day, and just check the numbers. Mm -hmm. And I think it was over like something like 130 in New York region yesterday. So I'm not surprised because, and, and the Premier made comments to the fact that they were on the bubble. Um, so we just have to keep doing, as we've been doing, a good job in Perry Sound, Muskoka and following the, you know, doing the right things and that keeps the more things open and keeps the economy going and it's better for everybody. Should we still be concerned here though? Because I mean, we are at a point in Perry Sound, especially in Muskoka now, where we're seeing weekly cases and we were never seeing that even over the summer. So this week is, I think, four now we've mm -hmm. seen. So, you know, that seems to be worse than what it was before, right? Yeah, I think we have to be very vigilant for sure because uh, we want to keep everything open. And I'm sure for business people, for everybody, for the quality of your life, you know, we want to keep schools open. We want to keep everything open. So, uh, you know, I, the worst case scenario for me would be having to go backwards at this point. And so far, we've done a good job. 